angels and welcome back to my channel so today i have a green olivey christmas makeup look to show you guys and i will be showing you guys my four favorite lip options to wear with this look so if you would like to see how to get this makeup look then please keep watching so jumping straight into the tutorial, I'm using the Oils of Life oil to moisturize my skin. And this is really good because it sinks into your face really, really, really well. For my lip balm, I'm using the Best Damn Beauty lip mask all over my lips. And moving straight onto primer, I use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless, which I actually really like. I feel like it's a even better version of the Professional, um, but I really, really, really like the way this sits on my skin. Then grabbing Emerge, which is a cream pigment from Illamasqua, I'm putting this underneath my eyes just to counteract any kind of darkness. And then I also decided to put some of this around my mouth as well because I do have a little bit of pigmentation on there. Because we're doing heavy eyes, I'm going on to eyes next. So here I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden and I'm putting this all over my eyes. You guys know the drill, this helps the eyeshadows last and also the colours for the eyeshadows to pop really well on your eyelids as well. Then taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, I'm just putting that all over my eyelids so that it's setting the primer that we put on so it's going to help all of our eyeshadows blend in really well together. Taking Creme Brulee, which is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow, I am putting this into the socket of my eye and this is just going to help as a transition shade. And this is quite a light transition shade and I did want this to be quite a warm look. So I'm starting with this colour first and then we are going to go in and darken it. But here I'm just making sure both of my eyes are looking as even as possible. And to add some more depth to the crease, I'm taking Coco Bear, which is another Makeup Geek eyeshadow. And I'm going ahead and kind of layering that into the crease and as a transition shade. So this is what's going to make the eye look quite warm. And as always, I'm applying this bit by bit. And then at the end, making sure both of the eyes are looking as even as possible because we don't want to look one darker than the other. Then taking the shade Shimmer Shimmer, again another Makeup Geek eyeshadow, I'm putting that on as a eyebrow highlight. And just so you guys know, Makeup Geek is now available, I believe, on Beauty Bay. I will leave a link to it in the info box for you guys, because um, we finally have them easily available in the UK. Here I'm just diffusing out all the colours to make sure that they're nice and blended in. Taking the shade Envy, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous, dark, olivey, khaki colour, I am adding this on to my eyelid. So I'm building the colour up slowly and then diffusing out the edges and that's basically what I'm doing here until I am happy with the way everything is looking before moving on to the other eye. And once I was happy with that, I wanted to add a pop of green in there as well. So I'm using the shade Jester and I'm adding this into the inner corners of the eyes. At first I only wanted a little bit, but throughout the tutorial you'll see me adding some more colour to this. For my base, I actually started off with my concealer first. I'm taking the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay and putting this on the usual areas of my face to highlight and conceal. And just so that I was putting less products on my face, because I feel like I've been wearing so much makeup recently, I then took my MAC Face and Body Foundation in the shade C3, no wait, C5, um, and I put this on the remaining areas which were kind of free. And I basically, I'm just going away and blending everything in place. So I first blended the concealer out first, and then went in and blended the foundation on. So this is just going to reduce any kind of cakiness and thickness of any products that you put on your skin because we're not putting too much layers on. Then taking the NYX Wonder Stick to contour, I am putting the darkest shade on the usual areas that I like to contour my face. So my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, um, my cupid's bow underneath my lips and my jawline and then just going ahead and blending all of those lines out. And once I was happy with that, as always, I did go and set all of those areas that we concealed, highlighted, and contoured. So I'm going in with the Kick Ass Soap and Glory Powder first, and I'm just setting all of the areas that we concealed and highlighted. And again, I'm patting the product in because we don't want to like move anything around. So make sure you're patting all of that in. And then taking the Master Sculpt in the shade Medium Dark, I'm just going ahead and setting where we contoured. So my cheekbones, my forehead, um, the jawline, and a little bit around my nose and Cupid's bow and underneath my lips. 
Once I was done with that, I went and filled in my brows and here I'm just kind of setting everything in place and then moving on to the eyes again. So taking Shimmer Shimmer, I'm just going ahead and applying a little bit more of that on to my brow bone just to really highlight that area and it makes the eyebrows look really nice and clean and sharp as well. Taking Perversion Eyeliner, I am then tight lining my upper waterline and once I'm done with that, this is where I add a little bit more of that Jester shade just to make that green really pop because I just wanted like a bit of a kind of pop of color for this look even though it is quite dark so here I'm just adding some more of that shade into my inner corners of my eyes just to kind of really pull the whole look together then I moved on to liquid eyeliner here I'm using the master rink matte and I'm just going ahead and lining my eyes and doing a nice old wing as well and I always like working in small strokes because it just means that there's less kind of likelihood of any big mess ups. <laughs> so I here I've just done one eye and then I'm going ahead and doing the same thing to the other eye and always making sure that the eyes are looking as even as possible. And then I did take a matte black eyeshadow and this is Corrupt which is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow and I'm just patting that on top where we did the winged eyeliner. This is just gonna make everything look really clean and very, very, very dark and very, very black. And it's gonna last a long time as well. Taking Midnight Cowboy by Urban Decay, I'm going and adding this into the center of the black eyeliner. I wanted a bit of like a gradient glitter eyeliner for this look. So then I actually went in with the shade what is this called? Gunmetal. Um, so I'm adding this on to the outer third of my winged eyeliner so it turns from like gold to black. And then I did go in with the shade Distortion which is a really like iridescent glittery shade. Um, and doing that in the inner third and then I also added some just like in the inner corners as well to really kind of make the look super sparkly as well. So for my mascara I went in with the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara and I added a good couple of layers of this on to my eyelashes and one thing that I really annoyed myself with when I did this look is that I didn't wait for my eyelashes to dry with the mascara on top and I just went ahead and added my lashes on straight away so definitely give them some time to dry because you do get mascara all over your fingers but here I'm using the Red Cherry WSP lashes. Then taking a little bit more of this Envy shade I am kind of running that along my lower lash line and I did it not very heavily but then I did go and add a little bit more of another shade on top a little bit later on um, but I'm just diffusing the lines out so it's nice and blended and then taking the Perversion Eyeliner again and just adding that to my lower lash line I mean my lower waterline of my lash line and also going in and adding some of the same mascara on to my lower lashes and you guys know how much I love doing this and then I decided I wanted to really make this a bit more smoky. So I added the tiniest amount of that corrupt black matte eyeshadow onto my outer third of my eyes um, just to kind of like really define the eyes and give them some nice kind of 3D effect to it. So it wasn't all just like one color. I really like that gradient look. And then I did went and blended all of that out before adding some bronzer. This is the Sephora Baked Powder and it's in the shade 60 or 06. It's the darkest shade that it comes in. I'm just adding it to the usual areas that I like to bronze up my face. And then to add um, a bit more of a smoke to this look, I added the tiniest bit of Corrupt to my lower lash line as well. And as you can see here, you seriously need the tiniest amount. And But then I did go in with a clean fluffy brush and blended those lines away as well, um, just so that it wasn't too harsh. Then taking Bittersweet Blush by NYX, I am adding that to my cheeks, just as a nice flush of color. And then taking Becca's Champagne Pop, which by the way is available on Cult Beauty. I am giving one away on my Instagram page, so please go and check that out. It is only open to the UK, but I am giving one away. Um, but yeah, I'm just adding that to the tops of my cheeks and then also the usual areas that I like highlighting. For the red lips, I use this Color Blur lipstick in the shade Partner in Crimson, which is such a gorgeous red shade. 
and it is super 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 comfortable to wear on the lips it's just very annoying that we can't get it here in the uk but it is such a beautiful shade and this is the final final makeup look you guys i really hope you enjoyed this look i loved creating it because i have been wanting to do a green and red look for a very long time but i do want to show you guys just how versatile this eye is because you can wear it with loads of different colors of lips so here i'm using the rouge velvet um bourgeois liquid lipsticks and this one is in the shade 10 don't pink of it and this lipstick i feel like goes with any eye you do and this is what it looks like together and i absolutely love it because the pink just softens up the whole look and you can totally get away with wearing it for like daytime if you want a bit of smokiness then this is the perfect kind of color for you now this obviously will go with a nude as well so here i'm using nude embrace which is a matte Maybelline lipstick and again it looks equally as beautiful I absolutely love this nude lipstick because again it is super 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 comfortable to wear on the lips like the other two I've already mentioned as well but I did also want to show you guys just how amazing this eye look looks with a really dark lip and this is Amore which is a Stila liquid lipstick and oh my god I think this has to be my favorite lip to go with this look please let me know in the comments below which is your favorite lipstick with this eye look and yeah I guess that's all for now I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and I guess I will see you all in my next video bye